Welcome back, everybody, to GGWP Gaming News Weekly Podcast. We are number one 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 now. Um, yeah, but I am your uh, one of your co-hosts, uh, Guy Clutch, and uh, your other co-host is Tazen. T A Z N. That's me. Yeah, we're on eleven now. Now, so that's cool, I guess. <laughs> But, uh, what did you play this week, Jason? What did I play this week? Um, uh, I think the only thing I played this week, it's been a stressful week. I think the only thing I played this week was, uh, Ark. Arkham Asylum. Ark. Um, oh, damn, Arkham Asylum? That's just it. <laughs> you buy it on yeah. PC, or? Uh, no, nah, I play it on the PS3, dude. Oh, the PS3. <laughs> yeah, nice. PS3. <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah, I played Ark with the boys. Um you guys should know who that is by now. Uh yeah, cuz well, one of the boys, Ace. Shout out to Ace. Um Yes. Go sub to Ace too. He's just getting started uh YouTube wise, so. Oh yeah. Go give him a sub. Um a huge Mabinogi. <clears throat> yeah, man. Sure. Easy way to leash off other people, dude. So go yeah. go check him out. Um but yeah, Ark, uh, he's been wanting to play, so we finally tried it, because it was free on Epic, which today's Thursday, so new games are already out, but so you can't get it anymore, but um, <laughs> yeah, it was, free. it was free last week, so you listened to our last week, then you should have got it. Um, but yeah, we played that, and uh, it was honestly a lot more fun than I thought it would be. Like, I thought I would hate it to, sh- like, like, Really bad. Like I, I would really not enjoy my time, but we played it and we played for like twelve hours. Jason wasn't our, a believer. Our total session was like twelve hours, yeah. Uh obviously we like took breaks and stuff in between. Um some of us did. But some people didn't. <laughs> uh, so others did, but uh yeah, we played that. It, it was pretty fun. Um just kind of fucked around with people. Bitch Tang. Sh- shout out to you, Bitch Tang. Yeah, Bitch Tang. Uh, human. Nice human scum. <laughs> Player. <laughs> Player. Shout These people's out. names are hilarious. Uh, those are all people, by the way. Um, yeah, we just kind of fucked around with them. Or, like, just fucked around on it and got shit on a lot. But um, that's all I'll play this week. Because after we played that for one day, my... The next day, my computer went out of commission, so. It exploded, kids. If you play games too much, your computer will explode. Actually, actually, <laughs> man. No, just play. Um, yeah, I, I played the uh, same arc fun game. Uh, well, it, it's fun, but it's also frustrating because it's like. Yeah. It, it's pretty fun, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Yeah. Um. If you have people to play with, I think playing alone, uh, I probably could play it alone for a bit, but I'll probably just like fuck around and shit. Yeah, yeah. it's. <clears throat> Is that not a game you. I wouldn't say have to, but I'm gonna say have to play with friends because, like, it's. It's not super enjoyable to just play by yourself, especially when, like, if other people, like, you get fucking raided on by, like, a tribe or, like, a group of people and it's yeah, like okay yeah. well 1v10 i don't think I'll, i'm like you'll win that you can have like five dragons and i still don't think you'll win yeah um so but plus it's just funner because the interactions you guys have it between each other and our other characters then it's okay. uh makes it a little more enjoyable yeah yeah i played that um i did try finally tried to throw out humans the demo um that i downloaded way back but i think the demo is out now on steam too more on that later but um it's uh yeah um it's 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 pretty fun but i guess it's kind of like open world i would say it's like open world yeah it's like where you can it's kind of like gta but you're an alien you can do whatever the fuck you want kind of Mm -hmm. um but it's, I, I guess I'm just in this uh, different mood where I'm kind of tired of open world games. <laughs> like, I want to play linear games now where there's a story and then you play this mission and you just go through it without having so many options, I guess. Because I don't know, open world now, it's just like, 
Oh, I have so much options. What do I do? There's too much shit to do. Yeah, like kind of playing The Witcher. I really liked it. Windows open world, but now I'm I'm in this mood where I just want to play something linear. So I'm like, yeah, I just want to play like oh Final Fantasy where it is open world ish too, but you just kind of like clear and concise. Like, yeah, hey, do this. You can just go do this, do this, do this. Where it's not like yeah. Witcher, where it's like a thousand side quests and shit, and it's like or like GTA it's... where you can run around and do whatever. So yeah, I think open like with final fantasy like it is open world but then it's not because like it it does confine i guess i haven't passed gone very played very far in but <clears throat> goddamn but um like you're pretty like uh confined into a certain area yeah yeah so you can't like go to like the south side of town or like the the map or like the whole earth whatever the fuck they're in yeah yeah so well, i mean yeah i like that um yeah so i'm kind of in the mood for more of a linear game that's why i i liked it but i didn't really mess with it that well it's fun i mean you can use you have your little zap gun you can have telekinesis you can read their minds and shit i mean it's it looks like a good game it def, it looks good um plays well you can use your ufo and just fuck shit up i mean yeah um I don't know if I'll buy it when it comes out, just based off the demo and how I'm feeling right now, game wise. So, but um, yeah, it's free demo on Steam, and y'all can go try it. Yeah. Another thing on, I think, um, open world games is just, I think for you, maybe you just like you like this, or you played a lot of them, and then you know maybe like you burn yourself out. Yeah. Or like, you know, so where it's like, oh god, I need like a change of pace because yeah, you know, for sure. it's I've I played it too much or like maybe like um you liked it because like at the time you weren't busy or like you didn't have so much shit to do so like the open worldness of having so much shit to do was nice because like the game ex- it extended the game that much, like that much longer. Yeah. I mean, I think for I, us where we used to be like quote unquote poor <laughs> as kids, you know, you always poor. Yeah, yeah. You can't buy every game you want like we can now. But like when you were kids, you only get one game. So what are you going to get? Like fucking GTA where you can play it forever, you know? Yeah, exactly. Open yeah. World, so, I mean, I've always had that mentality. So I played a kind of try to find games like that open world and play them. So, But now I'm just like, that shit just gives me anxiety almost. <laughs> where I'm like, real, I just want to play like a fucking 10 hour game. Yeah, yeah. Run through exactly. that shit quick and then that's it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Plus, I mean, um, there's so many games coming out too where I feel like I can't start a big game because I'm not, I'm never gonna finish it, and I'm gonna have to play all these other games. I mean, I don't have to, but I want to. So, yes, yeah, it's a I rough life being a that. gamer out here, guys. <laughs> People think gaming yeah. is just easy. Nah, this shit's hard, bro. <laughs> this is hard, bro. <laughs> this shit's you gotta hard. Play every bro. game out there, man. <laughs> I gotta play every game. Oh. Try to have fun. Oh gosh, terrible. And try to catch up on anime. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh my lord. Uh, life of a fucking I I guess nerd. We're not really even nerd. We're just regular people now. Everybody loves games. Everybody loves anime. We're just regular people. Yeah. Yeah. Nerd culture is in, guys. You can't. If you call us nerds, you're not hurting us anymore. Yeah. Because so, I mean, just know that everybody you meet, it, they're bound to like like one anime or one one video game you know, or something. Uh, it's yeah, really... you damn basic bitches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now it's like ooh, hardcore gamer versus those normies kind of. You know, yeah, game. pretty it's much. Like, oh, you only play mobile games? Well, huh, you're such a scrub. Yeah, damn normie. That's the same thing's happening with kind of like anime too. Oh, you yeah. kind of see it with Avatar the Last Air, but I, it's cartoon anime or whatever. Cartoon. cartoon, but I'm just going to use that as an example because that's yeah, what's yeah, happening for sure, right sure. now. Because it's just recently been put on, I guess One Piece would be a good example. But I've seen it more with Avatar. Where Avatar, you know, people that watched it back then was like, oh, it's so good, it's really good. And then now people are jumping on the bandwagon. A lot of people are like, just like, you know, like, hey, man, you're just jumping on the bandwagon. Like, yeah, I knew this show was good way back then and shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> yeah yeah it's i i i'm like i wouldn't say yeah i'm pre- i'm, I'm kind of like that too i guess like i guess i'm like a normie in the fact that like i i guess i like go to everything not late but like 
when and when it's big, I guess. Yeah, but I feel like you're kind of different. For but you, not when it's too big. Like, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I start like when there's hype. When it first starts and it's hype, and I hear a lot of hype about it, then I'm like, okay, I'll go watch it because there's a lot of hype. And then I progress with the hype, and then it gets to a point where like, like my hero now is like four seasons in, or yeah. And then like I've been, I've been there since season one, but you know, it's yeah, it's. Yeah, but I, yeah, I would say I'm definitely like a, a fake otaku, a fake anime watcher because <laughs> I, I've definitely only seen like big animes. I think the thing that holds you, no, I guess it wouldn't hold, it doesn't hold you back. But the the thing about you is, you hate super hype anime, which nowadays a good anime is always super hyped, like Demon Slayer, for example. I haven't watched it either, but um. Yeah, like you hate that super hyped anime, and unfortunately, any anime that comes out that's good is gonna be super hyped because super hype, yeah. Nowadays, everybody just talks about it, you know, because it's like, oh, this anime is hot right now. It's yeah, it's a little more troublesome rather than back then, like with Naruto and stuff. We didn't have internet, so it was just cool amongst you and your friends, and then oh yeah, yeah, you know, you're like, oh, this is like between like this is like us only, but then like. Little did you know, there's tons of people that love watching it and shit too, and it's yeah, like yeah. not overhyped. So. I guess that's true. Yeah, because like back then, you, you, the fact that you had that in common was really cool. Yeah. But yeah. now it's like, okay, well, we know there's a culture out there for this stuff, right? An audience. So it's like a matter of like, it's like a okay, which kind of anime do you like now? Like you know, romance, comedy, mm. whatever the fuck. It's like, it's kind of like that. The all those genres just verse each other or like yeah yeah it hype help, animes yeah. non-hype animes yeah. it doesn't help that hype animes like people literally spam the shit out of it so you get so tired it's like an ad you know you yeah, see yeah, ads yeah, exactly. so fucking much you're like i'm not gonna watch this stupid shit dude yeah <laughs> i like yeah it, i like watching yeah. animes when it's like hyped but then not like it has been hyped to the point where it's like and it's been in my face 24 7. Right, like, like it's being blown in your face. Yeah. Like, oh, that's why, like, huge. even though My Hero Now is, like, probably the biggest or, like, one of the biggest hyped yeah. animes, like, it's literally in your face everywhere. And, like, people who don't watch anime know what it is. But, like, when I started watching it, like, it was, like, just kind of getting started. Cause, like, I mean, I started, yeah. Like, I think I started even before they finished, like, on uh, season one. So, like, I did. People said it was good, so like I started watching it. But like, yeah, like uh, kind of like um, when I was watching, or like when people would tell me to watch like a uh, a comic a kill or like shit like that. It's like it was so hyped, and like yeah, they just kept like telling me and telling me, telling me like just kind of out of spite. I'm like, yeah, no, fuck you. I'm not gonna watch it because you <laughs> you kept fucking telling me to. Oh, you kept spamming. Yeah, me. it's just the it's just a wash dishes effect, dude. Oh yeah. You're doing you're like, the dishes. They tell you to do the dishes. Like, you know what, bitch? I'm not doing this shit anymore. Yeah, like, you, you just get out of it. It's like, oh, bro. You serious yeah. right now? You fucking kidding? Yeah, I don't know. That, I, I'm a weird person. That's just how I am. Yeah. I mean, so. that's me too. Like, if I'm doing the dishes and then somebody comes by, like, oh, my God, you're doing the dishes? You've never do the dishes. I'm just yeah. like, bitch, I'm not going to do this shit no more. <laughs> exactly. But see, it's it's weird. Like, that's that's why it works. Because, like, when you, when you, someone comes with a plate and they're like, oh, it's, like, they're like, oh, I can watch this. But then you're already doing the dish. You're like, no, nah, it's cool. I'll get it. Yeah, because, like, oh, yeah, you know, like, they, you know, it's like, it's weird. So, yeah, it's just, I mean, that's everybody. People, people can relate out there. Or put it in the comments if you can relate. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's, but, yeah, that's why, in terms of anime, that's why I'm like that. But, um, plus, I'm not dedicated enough to actually go out and read every fucking anime or watch anime to make, see if it's good or not. Yeah. Like, but I ain't got that, I ain't got that kind of time. But, yeah. So I, when it comes to like good anime that aren't super hyped or thrown in my face, then yeah, I watch it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna get this out there since we're already talking about anime. Um, I watched Megalobox on uh, Netflix, and it, it was supposed. It's like about you know what it is, Tayson. No, I don't know what the hell that is. But Megalobox is kind of like um just a boxing anime where they wear um robotic arms to help them and shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's basically boxing with robot arms, right? Whatever it's boxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, it, when it came out in like, 2018 or whatever, it was super hyped, and everybody's like, "Oh, this anime is great! It's the fucking best anime, anime of the year already!" And it came out around like January, and then I was like, "Bro, this shit! It looks cool! Like the animation did look cool." 
and uh, the action scenes looks cool, but then I never watched it. And then it came out on Netflix recently. Um, and then I watched it, and oh my god, let me tell you, that anime is oh, it's garbage. Like, it's trash. I hate to say it. <laughs> it's just straight garbage, bro. I mean, it's not completely trash. I I'm just saying it's trash in a sense where everybody was saying it's like a goat. It's like um super good, but yo, that anime is oh, it was not good when I was watching. I was just like hardcore. I don't know. I just didn't really like it that much. I don't know what people see in it. I guess maybe it's, yeah. I just didn't like it. Like the fight scenes when they were boxing, like those scenes were so short and stuff, and it wasn't. I, I don't know. I just I just didn't like it. That's basically what I'm saying. But I'm just yeah. saying like that's the last time I take advice from you people out there. <laughs> yeah. See, that's you the thing fucker. too. It's like when it's so overhyped that you have a lot of expectation you go watch it and then it doesn't meet those expectations it's like yeah you get hell oh, fuck. yeah 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 that's why like yeah like that's why if i hear from like obviously just like random people or whatever I, i'm like i i guess i kind of take it with a green assault but if i hear from like like people i'm close with or like people like i trust their judgment yeah then they know they like the same shit you do yeah then i'm like okay like i you know, I will, I will like, I will give this a try, and I have like, I'm pretty sure it will be good. It's just, yeah. Sometimes I just like get lazy, or sometimes I'm lazy. I actually don't watch it, or like, I yeah, I just don't want to watch it sometimes. Um, but yeah, like I definitely should go watch some animes where um, people I've trusted and have shown me good animes. Um, I should go watch the shit because I'm pretty sure it is good. I mean, but I just yeah. I'll come around eventually and watch it. Yeah, it took me a year to convince him to watch One Piece. <laughs> How long it takes? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll say it took like a little more than that. Yeah, probably like two, three years. It took like I mean, <laughs> from the time you watched it to like, eventually I watched it. Yeah. And plus, it's just a matter of like convenience, you know? Like, cause when I, I started was... watching One Piece, it was like I didn't have anything to do. Didn't know animes or good animes were really out. And so, and it was like easy because it was on Hulu. So I was like, yeah, I can just watch it there, you know. So I just, it was convenient, watched it, really dedicated myself to watching it because, I mean, every every time you finish arc, it's like, okay, that next arc is going to be better, next arc, so on, so on. And then eventually you yeah. get to the end. Just push through, man. So yeah. I know one, one Piece is just on Netflix, which Netflix is garbage for that, by the way. For only yeah. putting fucking up to Alabasca. Um, but. Y'all watching it? Just push through, man. It gets better. It gets a lot better. But then again, we don't want no fucking normies, so stop watching, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> True. Even though I, yeah, uh, I definitely a normie. But I think, yeah, I guess, yeah, definitely a normie. Yeah. All right. Well, that was the anime wrap for the day. <laughs> yeah. For the um, you get uh, yeah. Once, once every podcast, we'll talk about anime. <laughs> <laughs> At least a little. <laughs> At least a little. I mean, if there's something to talk about, we talk about it. But That's true. Yeah. One quick thing, actually. Hey, we, we me and Clutch just have different tastes in anime from other people. Because there's yes. animes we like that other people shit on so hard. Mm-hmm. So, we're not going to name it because you guys are probably normies and don't watch or uh, hate it too. So... Yeah. yeah, but just know that we're uh, just like games. There's different anime watchers out there. So we'll dedicate a full episode to what we're talking about later. Oh, yeah. For sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. About we why, can, why you we can wrap on wrong. for days about that, dude. You motherfuckers. Damn normies. Um, but yeah. Okay. We good. We can go to whatever our topic is for the day. All right. Straight into the news then. Um, there was a lot of news, but honestly, I was, I was reading through the news. A lot of it didn't catch my attention, so I was like, hey, I'm not going to put this in. So if you guys, we have, like, again, me and Taysen have different tastes, but we only talk about certain stuff that I think we're going to be interested in. Um, just know there's, like, tons of news out there uh, every day, actually, because um, the game festival stuff. All right, anyways, um, first on the news, uh, we got Assassin's Creed Origins. It's free this weekend. I said Origins, right? Let's see. Origins. Free this weekend if y'all want to try that out. Um, Damn. Origins, is that the one I played? Yeah, I think that's the one. It's pretty good, right? Origins is uh 
No, I didn't play Origin. I play Odyssey. No, I didn't play Odyssey. Origins. Origins is the one, um, the Egypt one. And the Odyssey is the Greek one. Yeah, I didn't play this one, but um, good reviews and stuff. And it's free this weekend, so if you guys want to try it out, here you go. There you go. And by this weekend, I mean like June 20th, 20th June yeah. 21st. 21st. Yeah. Oh, not like if you're watching this like a later in the week and you're like, bitch, is shit ain't free. <laughs> it's uh, not my <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, Don't June 20th me. through the 21st, man. 2020. Yes. That's the year date. It's free. 2020. Um, yeah, it, it's funny because when you, when like I read it, it said AC and I'm like, Animal Crossing? Oh, shit. Animal Crossing Origins? What the <laughs> fuck is that? <laughs> New game? Free this game weekend. already? Shit. Yeah, Animal yeah. Crossing getting a little stale for us. Um, We're waiting for a new event because right now it's like the wedding event, whatever. I don't know. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, I, yeah, I still need to catch like a lot of new fish and stuff but i've just been like so i guess like bored of it or like yeah tired of it that i just don't feel like playing anymore or like right now yeah um, i mean okay quick animal crossing round too that we're, we're probably going to go on for another 30 minutes <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't think i'm necessarily bored okay i'm pretty i'm like between bored with it and between like it consumed so much of my time that i wanted to totally cut it off because i couldn't do anything else so i'm like between hey. those two things that's why i haven't played it like barely at all yeah i guess that's true too yeah and plus like we've been playing like a lot of games um or like we've been trying games and stuff like you guys heard in other podcasts and shit and like doing animal crossing just the dailies for me it takes a long time because like yeah there's a lot of stuff i want to do like I was like talking, um, talking to my sister too, and like when I do dailies and I walk around my island and I see like new flowers grow and they grow and like, and it grows and I don't fix it, then I like my OCD kicks in, so I want to yeah. fix it and then I'll fix it, and then it leads to like doing other shit, and then yeah. I start to like shake trees and then I shake trees, I get my two items, but I'm like, I might as well shake all the trees, get all my walls, get yeah. all the tree branches. It's like I just keep going on and on, and so I'm like, dude, doing just doing dailies takes way too long. So I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna like not do it. And like if I did do it, I'll have to do it quick because like I mean I would wanna play games with the boys or like maybe I'm doing something that day, so I can't like it's either I do that, or I don't do that thing that day. So it's like but... Yeah. Animal Crossing is a time killer, bro. If you wanna waste fucking twelve hours play Animal Crossing, that shit go by oh, yeah. quicker than a bitch. Hell yeah. Yeah. I think one thing that killed it for me too is like I had this great plan for my island and then fucking went to terraform i couldn't even do what i wanted so i like yeah my my spirits just got crushed i was like you know what fuck this game Bro, i'm gonna quit i'm gonna stop for a bit i couldn't do what i wanted and that pretty much crushed my dream too yeah like yeah. i just you just like because you have such big hopes for your island because you're like oh i know what i'm gonna do and then you can't do it and then it's like damn mm. now like i i do have like an idea of what i want to do that's kind of similar to what i did want to do but it's like I wasted so much time and energy doing what I wanted to do that didn't work, and it's like, damn, I'm not. I don't want to put time and energy to, in this so quickly again. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna take a break for a bit until, like, obviously, like, I don't have much stuff to do anymore, or like, I just want to play the game again. Yeah, which reminds me, um, Nintendo, can you add it so that we can make more fucking inclines, you motherfucker? <laughs> Why is eight the cap, you fucking idiots? Gosh dang it, make it 30 or put, some shit. You're can we get fast fine. terraforming too? Like, oh god, like tearing down and building landscape, do it one by one, dude. That takes a fucking century. Yeah, fucking it. fix your like, game, Nintendo, bro. <laughs> do like a do like a three by three at most, and it could be like something you buy with your Nook Mall tickets or like even with bells. I have like so much bells. I'll give so you real like, money, motherfucker. <laughs> I do for real. Like holy shit. Like I'll give you three hundred dollars for that shit. Like, oh my god, yeah, but um obviously that's just how they get people to play the game, but yeah um and take two hours on it. Yeah, but uh yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, AC Origins Creed this weekend. Origins, yeah. <laughs> not Animal Crossing. Yeah, not Animal Crossing. Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed. Origins, yeah. 
Which is funny because Ace thought the opposite. Remember back when we played? Yeah, yeah. He was like, well, Assassin's Creed. And... Assassin's Creed? Sure. He was All like, right. oh, y'all playing Assassin's Creed? Yeah. Uh, the biggest news I think this week, one of the biggest news I would say is um, Fortnite Season 3 is finally upon us. Oh, yeah. But before that, uh, the Season 2 event. This is Chapter 2, Season 3, Season 2. Chapter 2, Season yeah, chapter yeah. two, season this three. Is chapter two, not like season two, like back. Not then. season two, yeah. Yeah. But anyways, chapter Fortnite chapter two, season two, the 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 device event um happened. Um, do you know what happened, or did you watch the video? Yeah, yeah, I know what happens. Okay, yeah. Well, for people out there that didn't know what happened, basically, there's this place called the agency. It was like pretty much right in the middle of the map, almost. Um, well. There's this device and it tried to stop the storm, but then it ended up raising the water levels or whatever. Am I explaining this right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. It ended up raising the water level and then for like, I don't know, only like two days or something. Um, instead of the storm, the regular storm, it, it, it was a t- like a tsunami. So it was like a giant waterfall that would uh, close in when you play um, in the Epic game. It's pretty cool. I mean, when I saw it, I didn't actually play it, but... Yeah, like the the storm was like a giant um, tsunami, so like water, it was watered off, and then you kind of, uh, if you're in the storm, you will be in water. It's pretty cool. Um, God, I don't know if you guys understand me explaining it, but yeah, just imagine a giant like attack on Titan wall, but water, but water, yeah, yeah, and then it's it just closes in as a circle would close in. Yeah, and if you're thinking, what? That sounds ridiculous. It was ridiculous, and it was pretty cool. I'd say. Yeah, I, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Yeah. I was. I was gonna get the ball, like, hey, let's jump in, but then uh, I ended <laughs> ended before we even had a chance. It ended before we had a chance, and I'm pretty sure I couldn't play it because, like I said, stressful week. Computer uh, exploded. Yeah. Just hard. literally fixed it today. So yeah, go give him a subscribe, guys. Make cheer him up, man. Yeah, y'all. Go give him if a I sub. get a thousand subs by the end of you know, okay. if I get a thousand subs when y'all come subscribe, then uh. I'll explain what happened. Yeah, a thousand subs, man. Go. <laughs> I'll, go. Let, I, I'll make sure this never happens to anyone else ever again. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Oh, shit. Yeah, um, so that was the device event for season two. Um, And then after that, season three happened like just two days ago, a day ago? Just a day ago, maybe? Wednesday? Yeah, like a day. Yeah, mm-hmm. like uh, yesterday. Or yesterday, yeah. yesterday. Either way, um, yeah, season two is here. Season three, chapter two, season three is here. Um. Finally, it's been delayed like twice. Uh, but there's a lot of cool shit. Um, the the map is under or uh, the map is engulfed in water now, so it's like almost like little islands now. Um, there's sharks. Um, they they have Aquaman now, like Aquaman, like Joe's Jason Mimosa. Yeah, he's in there. Momoa. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I, at first I was like, "Bro, they got Aquaman. That's kind of cool." But yeah, I mean, it is pretty cool. But I was like, "Oh, uh, I was like, damn, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know." It, you it, you prefer Cal Dralgo? Cal, oh, obviously. But, <laughs> I mean, it's just I don't know. I feel like I was expect. I don't know why, but I was expecting something more than like just an Aquaman collab. I guess. Oh. I mean, obviously the theme fits, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's cool. I mean, they have, yeah, I mean, they have, like, sharks. You could ride sharks. Sharks can attack people. Um, apparently, they have, you can build your own umbrella now. Like, you customize that shit, which is pretty cool. What the hell? Um, they brought back a bunch of old weapons. Um, they have this charged shotgun that's fucking broken, and I'm pretty sure people are going to complain about it within, like, two, you know, people are going to hella complain about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, they brought back the hunting rifle. The um, the the blue bolt is back. That's cool. Blue bolt is back. That's like a I love that gun. I don't know why everyone else. Blue bolt, man. Sniping is fucking weird. <laughs> I don't even know how to snipe anymore. Like I think there is drop now again. So oh yeah, when you when you shoot, <laughs> uh, at least when I was watching a uh, Mizox video. Shout out to Mizox. Um, he was doing the, um, like the a sky bridge or like water bridge. Cause oh yeah, yeah. As we stated, it was a giant water tsunami storm, and he'll go on top and then make a sky bridge. 
on top of the water so like people wouldn't really look up because i mean it's a giant waterfall so yeah um and yeah when he he sniped the dude to win the game and he like definitely like went over the head so there was definitely like drop there drop it. yeah but um but yeah i don't know yeah well anyway since ace is making videos you guys should tell him to do a snipers only challenge because he's the best at it Oh, Fortnite. he's fucking amazing, dude. Everybody go spam Ace to tell him to do a sniper-only challenge in Fortnite. <laughs> yeah. Go comment on his last video. Snipers only. Yeah, he's the best sniper, bro. Y'all gotta watch him play. Um, the best peeker, too. <laughs> the best, oh, my, best peeker ever, dude. The best, bro. Intense fight, have him peek, dude. He'll take one head. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. We When, uh... When I get situated to the end, we should probably we should jump back on. Yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, yeah, yeah. definitely. We still gotta do our uh, little video, but yeah, a little video. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Yeah. That's Fortnite season three. Um. A lot of I obviously I didn't go through all the patch notes, so if you're super interested in it, you can go check it out. But I assume if you're super interested in it, you already know what's happening. <laughs> That's true. Um. I guess if you're moderately interested, then you can go check it out. Uh, read the patch notes. I think they're up somewhere. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh, next news. We got Star Wars Squadrons. <clears throat> you know what that is? See, it stays in. No, I don't know what the fuck Star Wars okay, Squadrons Okay, so people were speculating about the next Star Wars game because apparently Star Wars is really big. I don't know. Not that big, yeah. but. Yeah, people love uh, that people were speculating what the next Star Wars game was and then it it fucking leaked. It leaked like um last week, but I think it leaked on Friday so we didn't cover it. Those damn data miners. Yeah, it leaked on Friday, I'm pretty sure. Like the full fucking the poster leaked and everybody's like, Oh my god, this is it, this is the new one and then pretty much they're like, Oh shit, what well, this shit leaked. Well they didn't say that, but I'm assuming that's what happened. It leaked and then yeah, now it's a huge thing. Um, Star Wars Squadrons. Um, the it's it's like a cinematic, uh, gameplay. -y, not really gameplay, but like cinematic. Um, trailer is out with a little bit of like the um, what's that word called? The game, not gameplay. It's uh, I used the last time. Game footage, kind of. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In game footage. That's what I'm looking for. In game oh, footage trailer okay. mixed with like cinematic trailer. Mm -hmm. um yeah but it's a game where you basically you're just like a starfighter like you ride in the fucking ships and you go around killing each other and if you can't tell me and Tazen are huge star wars fans <laughs> super huge dude <laughs> i love it when they take out their sabers and start sabering each other. yeah i love the dude with the double sabers yeah the double sabering sabers yeah uh -huh. Yeah, but it's it's a um apparently it's available for pre order now already, and it's only forty bucks. So I'm assuming this game is not gonna be that big, or I don't know. But yeah, it's like um, yeah, it's just a space shooting game where you're in an airship. That you can visualize that. Yeah, I can visualize it. it doesn't really. <laughs> yeah. Uh, take much. As a Star Wars fan, it doesn't really capture my eye. Yeah, it does. I would say it looks somewhat interesting, and for forty bucks, mm, I don't know if I'll pick it up. But I ha I did pick up um, Star Wars Fallen Order, and because I was in the I was in the mood to play to a lightsaber some motherfuckers. So I was like, you know what, this game is good, <laughs> and it's rumored to have a seek. They they say a sequel coming, so I'm like, fuck, it, I'm gonna pick it up. Plus, if you guys didn't know, with that Epic Game Pass way back then. And not the Game Pass, but the Epic Coupon. Yeah, I picked it up because it was on sale. The Mega Sale was happening, and you get uh, the coupon. I was like, fuck it, I'll just buy it. So I bought it. But I haven't played it yet, but um, I've actually been itching to play it, but I've just been doing other stuff. Yeah, um, uh, yeah. I, when I was on your computer, I saw it too. I was like, damn, is this free? Because that's why I was asking you. <laughs> but then you were like, no, you bought it. I was like, damn, because I was kind of... Loki hoping that it was gonna be free, cause I, oh, okay. I, I, yeah, obviously I've heard that's really good, and I don't know, like it looks, it the gameplay to me looked really good, so I wanted to like try it. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh damn, if it was free, I would have definitely got it. But 
I'm too broke to be buying games right now. I am a fan of Unleashed too. That game was fucking lit. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I love that game. I played the first one was really good. I played the second one too, which was I thought it was good, but a lot of people didn't like it. <laughs> mm. Which I can understand why. I mean but I was like the first one has the exact same problems as the second one, in my opinion. But then just better combat. So I don't know why people hated it. I thought it was yeah, I wish they would just come out with uh, that again. Just let me wreck fools. Like, because this, the Fallen Order one, it's a little more, slightly more like tactical, I guess. Kind of like, uh, yeah. Next news. <laughs> Next. Next news. EA wants to combat um, toxicity in its games. So it's going to yeah. start taking action, action against um, toxicity in its games. By letting you report people for being jerks and shit, and like with forms and stuff. What do you think about this, Taylor? EA Sports is in the game. Um, damn, I, I miss Madden uh, <laughs> uh, uh, that I'm surprised it's just happening now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sure. Yeah, no, I agree with you. Uh, I, think- I feel like every game or like every kind of developer or whatever it is out there they always have like a report player or report people for cheats or you know obviously toxicity yeah toxicity um just you know a report system but i guess they don't i don't know i I mean obviously it's a good thing that they're having it yeah 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 I mean, they. I mean, I'm pretty sure they did, but I think that now they're taking a bigger step into it. Like, they're having like forms and stuff. I, I read. I skimmed through it. It was kind of confusing. Yeah. To me maybe, honest. maybe they just like actually like hard ban. Like, not hard ban, but they take it like more serious. Like, they actually really look into it, or like there's gonna be like you know a nine thousand ban like Valorant. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Because so. I think for me, I guess I brought this topic because I thought it was more interesting. Like. How we thought about um, toxicity in games because some people say that you know like being toxic and stuff is sometimes a part of the experience I mean obviously there's a fine line to it but sometimes it's like a part of the experience of the game like where if you play you know um, like VR chat and you you all the basic of the game is to just talk to each other and shit I mean yeah, yeah. And someone's toxic in that. It's like, well, that's how they are. So should do they have to change to play the game? Kind of deal, you know? And, like, some people just like talking shit and stuff. It's like, I don't know. I guess the conversation is a little... I don't know. How do you feel about toxicity, I guess? Uh... I guess, like... Um... I don't know. It's It's definitely, like, it's stupid. Because, like, I mean, obviously, like, whether you're being toxic or other people being toxic to you, it's, like, I guess if you're being toxic to other people, like, that's kind of, like, I you probably shouldn't really be toxic to other people. But, like, if other people are toxic to you, then you don't, obviously, won't like it either. I don't know. But I feel like with gaming now, it's just kind of how it is. Everyone's just kind of toxic. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's It's just the way of gaming now, but... Obviously, like if there if there are uh, negatives to being toxic, then that'll make people feel less inclined to be toxic. Yeah. Obviously, unless they truly can't hold back their toxicity, but obviously at that point they'll probably get banned or whatever the fuck. And I feel like for us, being toxic is always more funny when you're the one being toxic, but when someone else is being toxic, it's like you you feel bad you know you feel like they yeah. should be banned or something because like i'm gonna give an example we're playing arc like when we destroyed someone's case and we took their shit we didn't feel remorse you know <laughs> yeah. when someone did it to us we're like those motherfuckers and then we'll fucking hella be toxic at them and shit and it's like obviously the those scenarios aren't exactly the same if but then like you know what i'm saying like it's always funnier when you're the toxic one because yeah, like, yeah. you and your buddies are just having a good old time. But then when someone's toxic to you guys, it's like, man, this dude's a fucking dick. Yeah, I think the thing is too, like, uh, maybe just that day, but I feel like we know when to stop being toxic almost. It's like, yeah, <laughs> like, 
because like when we were playing Ark and we like t- took someone's base, it's not like we repeatedly were like, okay, they just gathered like ten iron. Let's go fucking raid their ass again, you know? Like we raided their ass once and then we stopped for the rest of the day or whatever. What about but, when like... we jailed an innocent man, Tate? <laughs> what about that? <laughs> No, we told we told his ass to leave. Then he brought a fucking big ass bronchiosaurus to come fuck us up, dude. Like, yeah, uh, it was clear that he was trying to fuck us up. Um, We're the heroes of this story. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, and then obviously, like, we got fucked up too. There was a guy, fucking bitch ass human, just kept fucking shooting flames at us. Like, we respawned. Shoot, he just he's literally staying there, spamming click. Yeah, and he just fucking yeah, stopped constantly. Camped us, but... Yeah, pretty much. It's like, okay, buddy, like, you know. And obviously, like, when someone's being toxic to you, you're not just going to sit there and take it. You're going to be toxic back. So obviously, we're, like, hella talking shit to him. And then, obviously, when you talk shit to them, it makes them want to talk more shit or act more toxic. So then, yeah. But, um, I mean, it is kind of fun, too, because, like, you know, like, once, like, Let's say, like, the four of us got a dragon that we want to go fuck up human, then we will come out on top, and then, you know, like, it'll feel really good because, like, we'll yeah. win the toxicity And then he'll be like, oh, what the hell? Yeah, so, but, I mean, obviously, if you're losing the fight of being toxic or, like, when someone's being toxic to you, then it just kind of sucks. But, I mean, just, I guess, at the end, they try to have a thick skin or, um, uh, you know, just report them. I hope they get reported. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I what don't about know. toxicity I... among teammates? Like, if we're both, you know, playing Overwatch and someone's being toxic to the team, not the. Uh, like, what do you mean? Like, if they did like something wrong, or if like they just came in and started acting like a fucking dumbass? Kind of like everybody's playing, and they're like, "Oh my god, dude, come on! I need you to like." You know, like, oh, come on, I just threw my all out. You should have been through your all Kind of like, I'm just being toxic against the teammates. Like, guy is calling you for all your faults and shit. Yeah, that's kind of... I mean, that's under, un, understandable to a point. Like, if they fuck up once, then it's like... You shouldn't probably shouldn't be like, oh my god, you fucking dumbass. Like, how'd you miss that all or whatever? You should just be like, 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 oh, like, fuck. Like, damn, you missed, but, like, come on, let's try to hit that shit next time. And then if they fuck, keep fucking it up, then it's like, okay, well, whatever. <laughs> Oh, so you know? if they suck, then it's okay to be toxic. <laughs> no, like it's not. It's not okay to be toxic, but like, don't just like. I guess don't go straight to like. Oh, straight to toxic like, mode. Yeah, because I mean that's obviously I play. I've played League, and League is like pretty much the same thing. Where like you fuck up once, and then like you'll get blamed. They're like, "Oh my god, you fucking dumbass!" Like that was the easiest thing. Like you should have did this, did this, did this. It's like, okay, if you if you were just like positively encouraged me just a little like right. or like you know not fucking be such a bitch so early then i would like you know maybe i could come back from this yeah, but obviously when you play in a bad ma- mindset you're not going to be any better uh because like i mean you're going to second guess everything you do and then uh it's like at that point like you're going to play worse because like okay like if a jungler like if you if, a, if your jungle comes gang it's like okay was well, he coming in for a gang is he not and then and then at a that point they ganked the raid and you're like they're like what the fuck why didn't you come in well, that was an easy kill you know i don't know it's yeah. it's just uh yeah at the at the end of the day if people are going to be toxic you can't really help it yeah so either be toxic back or just don't say anything and let them be toxic and be toxic gameplay wise that's another thing man if you're playing with people and sometimes they suck hey it could be they're having an off day or they just got on and they're not warmed up. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. People need to chill out on that, man. Yeah. I think, yeah. It's trying to speak behind their back because obviously you don't know the person and they don't hear you. But yeah. your verb, like, if you actually make them hear and or read it by typing, then that's like, okay, that's going a bit too far. Like, obviously, like, when, like, you know, if me, me and Clutch are playing, like, fucking four and we have a shit player, we're not going to go in game and be like, yo, you fucking suck, dude. Yeah. You no, know, we're just going to be like, talking in on discord and just be like yo that's guy is fucking trash dude yeah but that's like an extended i might accidentally yeah. pick him up and throw him over the edge <laughs> yeah exactly we're not gonna verbally you know, like or like yeah i guess try not to be toxic don't and if you are don't say it to their face 
Plus, if you play with someone that sucks, you know, at the end of the game, just report them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that they Why get banned and you never have to play with them ever again. Yeah. yeah, at the end of the day, the best thing to do if you don't want to play with a toxic person is just report them. Hope they get reported because then you'll never really ever have to play with them again. Or you don't even have to play with them ever again once you leave the lobby, once you queue up for a different game, whatever. This brings up a good point. Maybe every game should have like a blacklist. You know, like Bleach does. Like, oh yeah, yeah. This dude, you could like blacklist him. Maybe every game does have this feature, and I just don't know. I doubt it though. But yeah, um, you could just like not every game. <laughs> they should, yeah, they should do that. Oh, that's crazy, actually. Oh, cool. I mean, you'd yeah, be yeah. kind of more of a bitch for matchmaking. Hey, who cares, right? Yeah, I feel like that's probably why like a lot of games like that don't do it, like League and stuff, because yeah, it'll make matchmaking so much more worse. But I mean, like. It'd be longer queue times, probably. It's kind of necessary, almost, because... I mean, with the amount of people that play, like, it shouldn't be that hard to find another game. Unless yeah. you're going around literally blacklisting everyone. And it's like, at that point, are they the problem? Are, are you sure they're the problem? Yeah, it you could know? be you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... You know, like... Yeah, black, I think a blacklist wouldn't be a bad idea, but... There you go, game I, developers. I, we just gave you another great idea. Hire us once again. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think. Yeah, at the end of the day, like just once you get done playing that toxic game, whatever, just move on to the next. Forget about that one. Try to. Yeah. And just go on to the next one. Yeah. Or hire a hitman to go get him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, just call yeah. the boy uh Joe Exotic. He knows how to. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, he knows he's real good that. at it. You yeah. hire a guy with no teeth. <laughs> guy with no teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, that wasn't the guy. The guy with no teeth was his uh, husband. The guy that he hired was... um. Oh, yeah, yeah. He it was... was... Yeah, whatever. Just, yeah. <laughs> Joe Exotic shit. You, you guys know. You guys know. You guys you are guys big. Know. You, you guys see it. Yeah, you, you see it. You better. <laughs> yeah, y'all yeah, know. Y'all yeah, know. All right, next on the news. Guess what happened? Cyberpunk 2077 is delayed again. It was supposed to come out in oh, September. It got God. delayed to November. Um, what a shocker they said cd project red said the content and the gameplay is done but they want to focus on um balancing and fixing and polishing the game how you feel about that delaying uh, the game that is still oof, two three four months away and their work and the game is basically done with the content and gameplay but then they're polishing it and fixing bugs and stuff how many delays has it been? I mean, just two now. Oh. The you one know... They push... Ooh, I'll say two. Yeah, I think... Uh, I, I guess, like, I mean, like I said, uh, I'm not, I wasn't too surprised. I mean, um, it seems like it's going to be a big game, like a big, like, a, you know, obviously, like a big... It's going to take a lot of time to make, you know? Yeah. And, I mean, at the end of the day, it's... We don't want another, even though I love Anthem, we don't want another Anthem. I guess, yeah, Anthem wasn't a problem to me, but for other people, um, we don't want another Anthem, so you know, like the fact that they're they know things are wrong with it and are delaying it and taking more time to fix it, like that's a plus, man. Like, you don't want this game coming out with shit, so it's either you take the delays or take a shit game, like, take your pick. And me personally, I'd rather take the delays, um. Yeah. But also, like, coming from the point of, like, bro, you guys announced it, the, like, at this time, you guys should have had it done, like, you guys should have tested it, you know, like, pretty much be ahead of schedule. Like, if you announce it this time, theoretically, like, you know you have that much time. Yeah. Like, you're the, you know, it's not like we set the date. Like, it's not like we're, like, oh, June 15th, you guys are going to have to come out that time, and then they make the game and have to come out that time. You know, they set their own dates. So, theoretically, when they set their own date, they know when they're going to finish. So, like, if you're going to set your own date, like, and it doesn't work, yeah, that's fine too, but I would say just do like most games or like or like consoles or whatever where they're like, oh, holiday 2020. So you don't have a specific date, but you know like during the holiday, which is like obviously end of the year, so you have until like December pretty much to finish the game. Yeah, true. Uh, so I, I don't know. I would say like even like don't say November. Just say holiday, holiday 2020, you know, because right. then we know it's going to come at the end of the year, but we just don't know when exactly. Yeah. I mean, my thing is, it's like, why announce it so early? 
Yeah, like, I guess guys, that's true. Is it gonna take you guys four months to like polish the game off? That doesn't sound like just polishing and fixing all bugs and balancing. You know what I'm saying? That yeah, yeah. That's like you four months and shit. That's like still fixing the game, dude. I don't know. For me, that's kind of weird. But maybe it's because they're trying to prevent cramming. You know, like they take all this time to fix it, um, so that when it gets near, they don't have to cram. Like even though most games do tend to cram all the time um near the end of a uh, near release date cuz it's just natural that you're going to cram at the end um yeah but um yeah i don't know why why we really, why announce it so early i guess maybe they're just like fuck it we know we're going to need fucking more time so bam here you go another delay yeah but I, it's a giga- it's an enormous game though from the like, the open world sounds big as fuck and like having a bunch of like NPCs that are like almost interactable and they look different like I can understand why it would have so much bugs because it's so huge and shit but it's just I don't know why announce it at this time I guess yeah yeah I uh, yeah I I feel I I understand that yeah it's like yeah, why um announce like a not close to finish product? Yeah, like maybe give uh, us till August and then be like, hey, um, yeah, we gotta delay it again. Yeah, or yeah, or like they could have even waited until like this summer game fest to announce it or whatever. Or like yeah, yeah, or like yeah, yeah. Because I really wonder how they like um decided. You know, they're like calculated and like oh shit we're not gonna meet the deadline so push it back another month i don't know i mean there's smart people out there but either way i have a feeling it's gonna be a great game since they're pushing it back so much um and if it's not a great game they're gonna get so much shit for it <laughs> yeah that's also a bad thing because it's like you you delayed it this much and it's still like shit yeah you know like Even oh, though i know it, that's not possible but i'm just saying yeah it's like you're gonna get so much shit for it I mean, yeah. look at Final Fantasy VII in the remake. It got pushed back fucking four or five years <laughs> before. Like, it got announced way back at some E3 ago, and then it, it just came out recently. Recently, as in, like, a couple months ago. A couple months ago, yeah. Yeah, like, that's crazy, like, how much that game delayed. But it's a great game. Yeah, number love, man. Did you know the, whole, the, did you know the whole game is only the first five hours of the original? The whole game, the whole the whole remake is only yeah, the yeah, first yeah. five hours of the original. Jeez. Yeah, and it's thirty three hours. Give or take. Jeez. Well, the remake is thirty three hours. Yeah, yeah, know, yeah, yeah. I don't know how much the original is. The original was apparently. Really- well, the original can't be fit thirty three hours. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's for damn sure. It's a little different though, because I think for this one they had to like um incorporate story and like. Oh like yeah, you, yeah. I mean, I watched this one guy. He talked about it. So, yeah. Story mission. You, you gotta kind of do missions differently. You gotta yeah bond it's, with the characters. Yeah, it's a it's a lot. Plus, yeah, that's kind of it. Like looking back, it's it's understandable why it fucking delayed like four or five years. Yeah, four or five. <laughs> you know, you gotta like create not. I guess like create story, but like you know, like and do animations. Fucking like. Imagine how like shit will look 3D and stuff, cause you know it's so crazy. Hopefully, but, the next one they make isn't gonna be so. Um, isn't gonna take so long, cause they already have a a basis. Yeah, yeah, like a blueprint, and, like to yeah. go off of. Like, oh, you fight it's like just, this, you did it. Yeah, da-da-da. it's just a matter of like story and like. Yeah. Uh, like nitpicking, piecing. like low shit, but just piecing shit together. But yeah, no, yeah. Uh, I guess we'll see if uh, Cyberpunk comes out uh, in November. Yep. I guess I know when I'm taking my vacation. <laughs> gonna play that shit all day. All right. Um, next news: Game of Thrones. Ever heard of it? I don't know if you da, have. Da, 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 da. Yeah. It happens to be my co-host's favorite show. Favorito. Is that correct? Yeah, that's pretty good, man. So you gotta say pretty good because you gotta undersell it. <laughs> yeah, 
Oh, it's <laughs> fucking trash. Go watch it. It's Do pretty good, man. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty yeah. good. He likes all the nudity. Why else would I watch it? <laughs> <laughs> you don't get judged for watching. Uh, for watching. Uh, yeah. You know. Oh, it, it's not porn, bro. This is Game of Thrones, man. <laughs> this, is, this is a TV show, man. This is a TV Come on, show. man. Come I'm on. not a savage. Jesus. Why were you yeah. touching your dick? Oh, that's just because I was cleaning it. <laughs> it just happened to be out, so... Yeah. yeah. Why was you looking at my dick? How about that? How about that? <laughs> How about that? This is my, you came into my room. Yeah. I was talking about you and your knocking problems. <laughs> exactly. All right. <laughs> Wait, what uh, yeah, for what? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know. Game of, the, the Game of Thrones board game. Do you remember that? I think so, yeah. The board game that um, Titeki has. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you, you know, like take territories, right? Yeah. yeah that yeah. board game is coming to PC later. That's kind of cool. Yeah. The game was actually, it was pretty fun. Yeah, it was, it's very like intricate, so. Yeah, it's, I would say it would do a lot better in the electronic stats because yeah. you don't have to like, Wait, can I do this? Can I... It'll be like, it'll tell you, like, hey, you can do this, you can do this, and then you yeah. just kind of play flawlessly. Yeah. And plus, obviously, you'll learn a lot quicker because games will go quicker and stuff. Whereas, board mm-hmm. game, you have to, like, oh, is, are we doing this correct? And you, you have to fucking keep rereading the rules and shit. Yeah. Well, that's so, good because, I mean, like, if we play it on here, then we'll know how to play it correctly. And then we can, when we play on the board, then it'll be like 30 million times easier. Yeah. Cool. But. It does. It did take a while. Like each game takes longer than like a Monopoly game. So oh, yeah. the bad thing about that is people get bored kind of quick. They don't get bored quick, but it just takes so long that it's like you play for three hours and people give up already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah. But um. Yeah. That's coming on uh, later this year. Pretty cool. Nice. That's cool. Rockstar has stopped Modder from spawning KKK members in Red Dead Online. <laughs> I hate to laugh at this, but it's pretty hilarious. Yeah, see, <laughs> I was gonna say like, yeah, I don't know, we're, uh, yeah, a dark humor, like it's kind, like it kind of is our thing. Yeah. In a way. So, yeah. but I mean, obviously, like, yo, like, why the fuck are people doing this? Like, oh, I forgot to include the images, but oh man, it, it's hilarious. it's kind of hilarious because they're in it and it's just I don't know. I think they're just NPCs. Like they, I didn't use. They just oh yeah. Around. I don't know if they attack you or anything, but I mean, obviously, I mean, I yeah, but but you think about it, it'd be so cool to have like clan members and you just fuck them up. You know, you fucking tie them to your horse and shit and just fucking drag That's them. True. In your in cactus. In theory, yeah, like it would have helped because you get to murder all of them. Yeah, I would love to fight clan members and fucking uh, GTA. Although, or... like, it would suck. Like, it it should only be on like. MP like civilians because like imagine that like imagine cops come rolling through and like gta and then they have the fucking oh, plan yeah that, that's... like <laughs> whoa that's too far Ooh, that's too close to come, yeah, too close to that's home that's way too far dude yeah that's cause... too close to home right now for the cops yeah. anyway uh yeah they're removing uh modern they're stopping modern from doing that spawn and cave came but there are, it's funny but then there are a lot of bad stuff where people are putting like you know obviously yeah racial slurs out there and stuff see like the thing is like we take this because like we like okay like, it's kind of funny but it's like it's only funny if like the person doing it thinks it's funny right but, like the doing it as a is, joke not like a yeah the sad thing is some people out there might actually be doing it because you know like yeah they are they super heavily racist. believe in it yeah, or they are our clan member themselves. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, okay, in that instance, it's not funny anymore. You know, it's like, okay, yeah, like, buddy, like, okay. clearly you've gone too far. But like, obviously, you shouldn't do it as a joke either. Obviously, but you know, people just love to push boundaries. So yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, there, there there are pictures out there if people want to go look at it. Um, I'm ready. If sure, you've Google it, you'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty. But, uh, pretty. Um. I guess yeah, tragically cool. hilarious. I guess yeah. that's how I would. Play. Again, yeah, dark humor. So it's not yes. your thing. Sorry, we apologize. Don't don't uh, have a uh, Vox making a, a article about us. Yeah. yeah. Although we would love that. <laughs> <laughs> True. But, but you have. Yeah. But you have to click subscribe first before you um go to Vox or whatever. 
yeah, it's uh, yeah. If you're not subscribed, you can't talk shit about us. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, next on news, we got Steam Game Festival. 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 What the fuck was I talking about? Festival. Summer edition. Um, yeah, right now it's out on Steam. By the time you're watching it, I think it should still be out. Um, yeah, they basically just have a bunch of demos. A bunch. Like over 900 according to the article. Yeah. Well, there you go, people of the world. It's uh, demos for more indie games, I would say. But, I mean, if you're into that, like, or maybe if you don't have anything to play and you're, like, looking for some new shit, um, a bunch of demos for you right there. There you go. You have, uh, yeah. Yeah. Quick a in. bunch of games to try. Quick and easy. Ch -ch -ch. All right, um... WB Games is announcing something new at DC event in August. Oh um, my god. And if you guys haven't followed, um, they've been putting a lot of pictures and leaks, uh, not leaks, but pictures up and shit. And a lot of people are rumoring that it's going to be a Batman game. Um, because it's going to be a Batman game and it's going to be him versus the Court of Owls. You don't know what a Court of Owls is. Go watch. I think it's um, Batman versus Sun or whatever. It's good. Yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, it's um a lot of people rumoring or thinking it's a Batman game. They already came out and said that it's not a Superman game, but it is like a DC game. Obviously, who would want a Superman game? <laughs> yeah, he's trash. Ugh, garbage. Can't even beat Goku. I mean, Goku's the weakest anime. Character. Exactly. Oh, gosh. Trash. Trash. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that'd be dope, man. Seeing Batman. Yeah. Batman. Batman. Uh, it's gotta be, man. 80, 80 year anniversary? Oh. That's true. It is the 80 year oh. anniversary of Batman, if you guys didn't know. Of the bats, as Joker would say it. Of the bats. <clears throat> and um yeah um fi our final news final news for the day uh origin access is only a dollar until june 29th so origin access they have uh some good sh they have some pretty good games on there actually so if you guys are bored and it's only for a week or a month so you buy you have origin access for a month you buy the month for a dollar not even a dollar, ninety nine cents. It's um this deal is only happening till June twenty third, so you got about nine days or so by the time you hear this. So if you like origin games, um go check it out. Are you gonna get it, Taze? Uh I don't even know what like what games are on there. Nah, I'll see what's what's uh and they have a lot of AC games, um yeah, that makes sense. Need <laughs> for speed and shit. I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably check it out. I mean, Anthem is an origin game. Or it's on <laughs> there. I think it's it is yeah. on Origin Access, but you can't even play it anymore. So. Yeah, yeah, I can't play it anymore. It feels bad. Um, you can play Apex on there. <laughs> oh God! Oh, <laughs> even, though, even though Apex is free. You <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe maybe you're paying a dollar for the queue times, man. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> So they can fix their fucking game. A few times. Oh shit. Um. Uh, yeah. Uh. Yeah. Maybe I'll check it out. I'll, I'll try. Yeah. Definitely check it out. A dollar a month. It's good, but I already have too much games. So I, me myself, I probably wouldn't be getting it. But yeah, that's true. Um. That's true. I need to finish Final Fantasy too. Yeah. If people are really bored out there, uh, there you go. I mean, yeah. You have a fuck ton of games. You got Origins access. For Bala, y'all got a fucking a, a bunch of demos bunch from Summerfest. Like, Go yeah. kill clan members on Red Dead Online. <laughs> <laughs> Go, yeah, exactly. Go kill clan members. Fucking Fortnite season three, chapter two, five is just released. There's a lot of stuff to be playing. Origins is gonna be free the weekend. This weekend. AC Origins. But if you get Origin Access, I think you already get that game. I think it's exactly. a part of it. So. 
So yeah. y- y'all got options, man. Y'all got options. So I don't want to hear that shit. I don't know what to play. There's tons of shit out there to play, all right? Yeah. Tons of shit. But if you really don't know what to play, um, Sleeping Dogs is on Steam, so. (laughs) (laughs) Definitive edition, too. Exactly. That means it's fire. 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 Um, Yeah, I think that's it for this uh, podcast. It's actually uh, only an hour, so. Yeah, it was only an hour. It kind of felt like we talked long. Yeah, we definitely went for our anime rant for a bit. Um, I know, I was like, I was scared. I was like, damn, we're gonna go hello over time. Yeah. Our producer was telling us to, like, yo, hurry the fuck hurry up. Hurry the fuck up. Stop talking about anime, you fucking weebs. Like, and shit. We say, shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> yeah, no ad this week, guys. We we ran too long, man. No ad, sorry. Um, yeah, that's it. That's the end of the GGWP. Um, see ya. I don't know how to end this. Do we just keep talking or something? <laughs> uh, probably not. <laughs> okay. All right. Later. See ya.